I cannot get over the title screen. It's so cool. Hey, everyone. I'm Ian. And what is Knuckles doing with his fist during this? It's very strange. But yeah, we're going to play more Sonic Robo Blast 2. Robo Blast 2. It's very hard for me to articulate. I'm getting over the flu. So if I sound sick and stupid, um, my apologies. But yeah, let's go. I hear people say this is where the game either goes downhill or just gets really fucking hard. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of... Not that. I'm a big fan of this game's art style and this game's controls and just this game in general from what little I've played. I really enjoyed what I did last time. I know that was like a month ago, but uh, yeah, I, I have to see through the rest of this. Potentially do some more playthroughs as like, okay, can I not? I want to do playthroughs as all of the main characters. Probably mess with the multiplayer if I can find anyone to fucking play it with. And yeah, this game's just really cool. I feel like I can milk a lot of content out of it. So uh, yeah, expect to see more RoboBlast 2 stuff. I hate the fact that I got the shield after I got hit. That just, that feels insulting to me. It doesn't seem as hard as I was hearing it would be. Okay, that turtle sucks. How, how are you supposed to hurt him? That's some bullshit. Okay. I wish he had a ledge grab. Sonic would be better with a ledge grab. He has a ledge grab in um fucking Sonic Lost World. I don't really want this to be more like Sonic Lost World. How the fuck do I get up there? What the hell? What did I miss? What, what, what am I doing wrong? I want to be up. I want to be on the platform. Can I knock that down with the spin dash, maybe? Oh, that's clever. We. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I thought I was going to die and ruin it, but nope, that was pretty cool. Honestly, this level design is just so good. It flows really, really well. Um, never mind. It sucks. I'm really glad the music doesn't stop whenever you die. I mean, for you guys, it's going to be cutting all over the fucking place because, you know, Oh, that killed the badnik. That was cool. Um, but for you guys, it's going to be cutting all over the place because, you know, I'm going to be cutting up the audio in the video. But for me, it's um, it's much easier on the ears if I don't have to worry about it um, starting over every single... Wait, does this make me cactus proof? Oh, that's awesome. I did not realize this thing had cactus immunity. Why does this thing have cactus immunity, though? That's a very strange and specific shield power. Every time I see one of these, I'm, I'm, like, angry. I don't know why I hate Robotnik monitors. I always thought they were the dumbest thing, because, like, in the classic games, unless they're placed somewhere where you'll, like, inadvertently bounce into them, I never hit them. And then in, like, a 3D game like this, how would you hit them, you know? Like, they're a very strange and obtuse obstacle in 3D game design, because you have to go out of your way to hit those things, typically, at least, you know? I mean, I'm sure there are exceptions to that, but I can't think of a time in a 3D Sonic game, fan-made or otherwise, where... Item boxes were anything other than my choice. Other than, like, homing attack chains, I guess. So many shields in this level. I appreciate it. God, just making those huge jumps feels so good. I love the feeling of, like, sheer unbridled momentum that RoboBlast 2 conveys. It's really neat. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, I would have been very angry if I failed at that time. But that was neat. That was super good. God, the... the Mm. One thing that Sonic fan games tend to really botch is the level design. The one that always nailed it for me was Sonic GT because it, it fucking has great level design. But this, this, this also does very, very well at understanding the balance between the way Sonic controls with this engine and the level design that best works for it. it it's a perfect balancing act, which is something, again, I very rarely see pulled off. But yeah, I'm happy to say this is one of them. Careful, careful, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, and then we just, oop. yep, that's okay, it's okay, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll ride it out, yep, oh, oh, yeah, oh boy, ah, uh, okay, this whole section actually has me, like, stressed out, because I only have one life, and the momentum with these stupid Hydro City, Hydro City, whatchamafuckers, it's really weird. Uh, okay, good enough. Good enough. We'll ride it out the long way. Can I, like, stand on the spikes? Or... And, yeah. Yeah, that was cool as shit. Oh, that was the end of the level. Dope. That was really hard. <laughs> that was really, really hard. I'm, like, all kinds of stressed and on edge now. This is all very, uh, Mirage Saloon zone. Although, like, I know this version of this level, ah, shit, is newer than Mirage Saloon. But the, um, the general aesthetic would be this first, I would think, right? Because RoboBlast 2 is like 85 billion years old and Mania is only three years old. How is Mania almost going to be? How Mania can't turn three this year. I literally cannot handle that. I am already feeling like an old man 
because Sonic Adventure got old, let alone fucking Sonic Mania. This is the first level I've had to actually have slowdown. That's kind of weird, considering it's, you know, Doom 2. <laughs> like, it's not a game I would expect to have slowdown, but I, you know, I, 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 I'll, I'll live. I can see that being an area where people might prefer mouse control, but I'm sorry. I tried playing this with a mouse and keyboard a little bit. It just feels so much more comfortable to me with a gamepad in hand, you know? Oh shit, a minecart section. Hell yeah. Hell nah. Okay, so this time we're gonna not kill ourselves. This is really, really cool though, because you have to actually like pay attention and map out the minecart route in your head. So I want to be up there, so I'll just do this. Whoa, that was not in any way my fault. The game just decided not to latch on. It had an arrow on screen and everything. Ooh, I call bullshit on that. Oh, sure, that time it worked. <laughs> but the first time the game was like, nah, you don't need to live. Oh, shit, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Oh, that was the end of the level. Okay. The level's not very long, other than the fact that I died 85,000 times. All right, Eggman, what do you have for me today? Knack! You were not what I expected. Whoa, shit, you're all over the place. It's already the most involved Knack boss fight of all time. I don't know if you've ever played Sonic Triple Trouble, but uh, he's a loser in that game. I always really like Knack, though. He's really cool. You know, he's at least design-wise, he's really cool. He doesn't fucking do anything, but, you know. Die. Oh my god, he actually hit something. That was the first time he's ever, in his entire life, hit something, I think. I wish... This is a character I actually wish... Oh, shit. I wish Knack or Fang or whatever you want to call him would come back. He's such a cool character. Again, design-wise, I don't know how he would work in modern Sonic, but... He was in Mania, technically, because he cameoed as a part of a boss fight, but he didn't... He wasn't really him, so who cares? Oh, his sprite's really good, too. I just want to look at him, but I, instead I'm going to murder him, because... He deserves it. Ah, shit. Knack Fang. What do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments, because I always like Knack better, but it's because I'm an American boy, and I just, that's how he always was to me, you know? Oh, he almost got me that time. Oh, he did kill, well, I guess you could call that him killing me. I, I don't know if I'd count it. What's he even doing? Like, this seems to be a junk train. Like, what's his fucking problem? If this were a Sonic Triple Trouble style fight with Knack, he would just fucking actually kill himself by accident. That was my favorite thing about this character. He was a fucking idiot. He's a total doofus. Oh, he's actually dead. Well, how come he can... Oh, I was gonna say, how come he can survive jumping off the train, but I can't? I got a game over flinging off the train, but... How do I have 12 lives? How many lives does the game give you on a continue? Play as Fang... Oh. Hmm... I like Fang. I'm gonna do that. Oh, also, this level looks nice. It's very Lava Reef Zone. Ah. I see. I thought I just had to make that jump, which... You know, would have been bad. Okay, shit. Ah. You can't tell me I can't make that jump. I definitely can. Just watch me. Ah, yeah. I cannot. But that's okay. God, the actual platforming feels so awkward. Like, the level design's really good. But it's really tough with these controls. Then I had a much worse time with mouse and keyboard. So I know the comments are going to tell me otherwise. But, like, for me... This is ideal, and it's still really tough. This looks completely different. God, I love alternate paths in Sonic games. And this game does that really well. Okay, I assumed I would jump off that enemy. Ah, but you see alternate paths, so it's okay. I could be backtracking now for all I know, but let's just assume I'm not and keep going. Ah, nah, this looks like progress. They wouldn't do a downhill lava flow thing like this if it was not... God, the platforming gets so tight. Whenever the platforms are large and it's more about... I didn't see that orb or not. Whenever the platforms are really, really large like these, and it's more about, you know, timing than it is about actually making a precise jump. Like these are great for this control scheme. This works so, so well. Unlike a lot of the more tight, confined platforming sections like this, I don't think it works all that great. I don't like that. Mm -mm, not a fan. Goddamn flame core looking level. Okay. That's mean. Flame Core is not a terrible level in Sonic 06, right? I, I don't. I don't hate Flame Core. Oh, thank God! <laughs> I really thought I didn't make that. I would have been actually angry. Jump over the Orbanaut this time because, uh, you know, you know, I might suck at video games, which means I probably shouldn't play them on the internet. But at least I'm consistently bad at them. You know what I mean? You're not getting any of that intermittent bursts of skill. You're getting occasional showings that I almost know what I'm doing, and then I die. And that right there is why you should be subscribed to this channel. It is consistent. 
I know there's a lower path, like, right there. I was gonna say, but I'm not gonna take it, but you know what? You know we are. Oh god, the lower path is worse! Oh, it's another bolly bit. Fine. Ah, ha, ha. Ooh, you thought you could get me with your foul tricks? Dr. Robotnik? No, no, no. Oh, Eggman. Eggman did this to me. I did that to me. I can't tell if I'm really, really bad. Which I am, but like if it's just me sucking or if this level is just way fucking harder than all the preceding levels. Like even the desert world, which was a lot harder than the levels I played last time. Like this is way fucking harder. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not criticizing the game for that. But like... I would be if it got literally any harder than this, because this is, like, approaching bullshit levels at times with some of the platforming you have to do. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. Let's go! Oh! I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. It very clearly wasn't. Oh, Christ. This is going to be really hard. I can already tell. But this is so cool. Okay. All right. I dig this. I really like this, even though I have no idea how to even begin approaching it. How do you do this? Answer! Brute force it! Yeah, that worked surprisingly well, actually. God, that was really, really hard. That was like, I think, 20, 30 minutes of my life. Jeez. Oh, but it was a single act zone. Okay. Yep, I'm back. <laughs> I had to restart recording days later. I played the rest of that footage like almost a week. No, nah, not quite a week ago because I'm still hacking up a lung from that stupid flu. But this is really hard. I remember that much about this level. Yeah, sorry you guys don't get my blind impressions now because uh, honestly though, it was mostly just me dying a whole bunch. And I'm kind of happy that I get to replay this because it lets me uh really state my overall thoughts on RoboBlast 2. Which is that each time I replay it, or replay parts of it rather, I enjoy it more and more. Like, I honestly think that when I go to fully. I didn't. Oh. Just like Death Egg Zone. When I go to fully replay this game, I'm gonna have the time of my life with it. Till then, it does some stuff that kind of throws me off. And, um. Yeah, let's talk about that. Sections like this are pretty cool, right? They make sense, they fit within the engine that the game has. I dig this. What I don't dig is some of the platformer we're going to be doing later. And that's an issue that I have that persists throughout all of Ribble Blast 2, at least on a first playthrough. Um, and as Sonic, because I don't know how well this applies to other characters, because I have not played as them yet. But sometimes I feel like this game just, like, it's a little too, uh, too ambitious with the platforming, considering it controls with, you know, Doom controls. That being said, I really like this level. <laughs> I think this final zone is awesome. I like not doing it like that but like this part we have to run through all the different falling platforms it's so cool this level is really really neat but yeah when you're playing as someone as slippery and quick as sonic with basically not tank controls exactly but like kind of tank controls it's real tough god this is so scary to me okay this part's cool as hell though we gotta build that shit up and boom it's satisfying. I like this a lot. This does feel appropriately final level for a Sonic game, so I approve of it. It's pretty great. This platforming section was really cool. I died a lot here because I didn't understand what you really need to do, which is just hold forward because you have different gravity here. So if you just hold forward and jump, like, you'll make it. <laughs> I didn't know that, and I kept trying to spin dash, and I was launching myself way too far, and I was like, what am I doing wrong? And yeah, and I think that's the closest thing to like, again, it's not a complaint at all. Because it's absolutely what they're going for with this. But I'm dead. I probably game overed on that part the first time I played it. And I've died, what, twice there? Three times? I don't know. I definitely died. But yeah, this game perfectly encapsulates that, you know, Sonic thing where the more you play it, the more fun it gets. I mean, everything's like that. Every game, I think, is a little more fun on subsequent playthroughs. But in the case of Sonic in particular, this part's really cool. So these blue areas are like oxygen bubbles. And outside of them will just immediately suffocate, which, uh, excuse me... Sonic Team Jr., but um, I've played enough Sonic to know that my boy can't survive in the cold vacuums of space just fine. He, I've played Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I think I know this much. Those rings are really smoothly animated. Wow. But in general, with Sonic games, they're so much better the more you play through them just because in a game as quick as Sonic, in a game with such... In the case of the classics, occasionally relentless 
relentless level design as Sonic, it's going to be infinitely easier the more you play it, you know? And that's what Gribble Blast 2 is trying to capture, and it does an awesome job of that. Uh, between this and Sonic GT, I think they're my favorite 3D Sonic fan games. I'm bashing this one a lot, but you got to understand it's coming from a place of love and just frustration while I play it. It doesn't mean it's at all bad. It's not. It's really, really good. The fuck? I don't remember this level. Uh, yes, I do. I remember this level. I died a lot at the fans. Come on, Sonic. Come on, Sonic. Don't die on me. This level was like a maze, if I remember right. Which, again, I could be wrong, but I, this level took me like forever. This whole thing took me so long, and it's funny because I've replayed a couple parts of this game just for fun because I like this game. I like Sonic Rebel Blast 2. And it's so much easier if you replay literally any part of it. Will the invincibility save me from death? No. Okay. But look how cool it is. Well, not when I do that. But look how cool all these laser grids and things you have to run past are. Again, not when I do it like that. I just always like Sonic levels that do a good job of making you feel like you're infiltrating an Eggman layer. I always thought uh, Final Egg from SA1 was kind of the king of that. And I still think that. I think Final Egg's an amazing final level for a Sonic game. Even if it's got a stupid name. I was going to say this song reminds me of Steven Universe the movie, and I'm not sure why. It just does. It doesn't really sound like Steven Universe the movie. I don't think it does, at least. But it's all I hear, and I'm not sure. Hmm. There's worse things to sound like. It's a movie with a fantastic soundtrack. Oh, thank God I made that, because I was not intending to uh, jump over that railing thing. I just didn't notice it. Parts of this, I'm just not remembering. I wonder if I took, like, a different route or something, because... I don't remember this part at all. I'm remembering chunks of it. Hell yeah, we're doing some um, Sky Sanctuary shit. I like it. This part I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Mega Man blocks in my Sonic. Fortunately, they're mostly fine. They get really narrow, though. Like here, I think. Yeah. Why do they do this? Answer, I don't know. I hate it. You see, Mega Man has a pixel-perfect control. Right? That's, that's like his whole thing, is that the platforming of Mega Man is extremely precise, since you can really maneuver that character. Sonic is a floaty, momentum-driven boy who, you know, has a great natural flow to his movements that I just do not think suits this kind of start-and-stop platforming, especially whenever you need to stop moving completely to make a jump. And Mega Man, momentum doesn't carry into jumps. And no, mouse and keyboard would not fix this. <laughs> it would make it a thousand times worse, because at least now I have analog control. Which does make a huge world of difference. I mean, it's like the only truly badly designed section. Probably the worst designed part of the game for me. And oh, that isn't so bad, all things considered. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Again, this is all so, so good. We're almost at the end. I think the end of the level is like over here somewhere. I don't know where to go. I don't remember. Oh, just right there. Okay. That's a little easier than I thought. This is such a cool section. It fucking destroyed me, but I have this all so memorized. I played, I haven't touched this in like a week, but I literally, you know, I got a game over here, like literally at least five times. I spent dozens, if not at least a hundred lives on this race. And honestly, I'm not sure why it's not that hard. <laughs> like, this is the section of the game where I realized just how beautifully they captured the, um, the, the, the replayability of the classic games. The, the feeling that every... Oh, this part's really hard with no rings. The feeling that every time you beat it, you beat a level, and you play through it again, that it, it's better. That Sonic games are made to be played through more than once. This Metal Sonic race is actually bullshit the first time you play it. But you go through it a couple of times. I don't even know if we're going to win this time, actually, because he's pretty far ahead. But, like, it, it just it perfectly, and I mean it perfectly, encapsulates the feeling of getting better at the classic Sonic games. And, oh, God, please let us make it. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. No. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Did I make it? Did I win? I did win. I don't think I've ever clutched anything harder than that in my entire life. I still don't really know how this fight works. <laughs> Funnily enough, I didn't die a single time to him, though. And I die a lot when I play Robo Blast 2, obviously. But nah, not, not, not to this guy. I, it took me like 10 minutes to beat him. I couldn't figure it out. 
But yeah, he, he wasn't difficult. I just didn't know what to do. He's doing his one move from a Sonic CD. During the races, he would do this move to launch himself at you. Um, he just pinballs all over the place. This fight is actually pretty fun. I remember hating it because I didn't know what to do, and it took me like two days. But nah, this is pretty cool. Well, hopefully I don't die because I only have one hit left in me. Okay, well, so did he. So that works. Metal Robotnik. Or if you don't know, he's the main villain of the first half of the Sonic OVA. I mean, obviously it's Eggman in there, but it's he's Metal Robotnik, and he has a Metal Robotnik laugh. I like this a lot. I like Sonic OVA references. I don't even like the Sonic OVA all that much, but I like references to it. So, you know, it pleases me as a fan. Metal Robotnik, step into my green goop boy. Come on. Come on, Metal Robotnik, green goop for you. Why would you willingly walk into this obviously bad, painful stuff? He just does it. And then I jumped into it because I'm stupid and a hypocrite. Again, I don't think I died a single time to this fight when I first played the boss, so it's just, it's very easy. <laughs> the game has, it gets so hard. Like, I have to state, first playthrough, that one level where it's like upside down for parts of it and it's in outer space for parts of it, like, that level's really, really tough. But then here I am on my first playthrough, get to the final boss, expecting to be like throwing my controller at my monitor. And, like, he hits me, like, a couple times, you know? Because he's so easy and so predictable. And I, it's not a bad thing to have an easy final boss as long as it's cool. And I do think this is cool. But only because it's a reference to something. It's not particularly climactic. I don't think it's the real final boss, though. God, did he, what, did he die? I'm pretty sure it's not the real final boss. I just don't have the Chaos Emeralds. But it's our real final boss for today. Because I am tired. And I have to edit this video tonight. Um, so... Oh, look at him. He's so happy. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Well, I'm going to watch the cutscene. Yep, the, the not death egg going to blow up. There it goes. But yeah, you should play this. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to see you guys next time. We're going to be doing a lot more RoboBlast 2 stuff, but I want to focus on the Sonic movie now. So let's do that. Till then, guys, I'm Lion Tuna signing out. Bye. I'll look at Sonic. He looks really good. Bye.